And welcome back. Chef Lou Aaron is here with us to get ready for St. Patrick's Day. A little Irish, Irish something. Irish soda bed. Oh, Fred, <laughs> Irish soda bed. Yeah, there we go. Lou really Good is Irish. Good start to the recipe. <laughs> I have Irish in me. Yeah. I'm Italian and, and Scottish. And you certainly do. I don't have any. You don't. Your husband no does, Irish. Doesn't. But I think we all pretend that we do. <laughs> Everybody's Irish. Irish Day comes recipe. around, right? That's right. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so Irish soda bread, very traditional recipe. You got to serve it with corned beef and cabbage. So I found in the past when you, if you make, really make a traditional Irish soda bread, it's kind of hard and crumbly, and it's is it? it's, it's kind of forced tasty. entry. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so, so I, I thought, okay, let's just change a little bit. So what I did is I'm, in, I'm I've upped the buttermilk content and add a little bit more baking soda. Because it's soda bread, right? So what's wrong with right. more baking soda? Yeah. So, so this bread comes out more like a, a scone, but don't tell anybody. It's okay. Irish soda bread. Okay. okay. So we start out with four cups of flour. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to mix all this stuff in. So you're going right. to help me out here, okay. right here. A little quarter cup of sugar. You can cut back on the sugar if you want. Third cup, eighth of a cup. No okay. sugar at all. The traditional doesn't no have hardly, have, hardly have any. Okay. Baking soda and then some kosher salt. Okay. So now what you do is you got to break in your butter, and this I hated this during baking class, but you have to it's, you got to be very patient. So you put the butter in. This is room temperature butter, four tablespoons. Okay. And what you do, you can either use your fingers, which gave me carpal tunnel, so I don't do that anymore. <laughs> so you can get a couple forks and just start mess, me, meshing it in. Okay. Or if you have a pastry cutter, can you or a pastry cutter, but you know chefs don't do that kind of stuff. Yeah. They they like to the use this kind of stuff. Okay. <laughs> so you mix that together, and it comes out kind of crumbly looking. Okay. okay, so we, I made a well here, so what we have to do is we have to make the wet mix. So I have one egg here, I have one and a quarter, you want to pour that yep. in here? One, and a, one egg that I'm beating, and then one and a quarter cups of buttermilk. And then to, to really add some nice texture and flavor to it, I have zest from one orange. Mm. Ooh, yum. And that's going to add some really good flavor to it. Yeah. So there's our wet mix, pretty simple. Okay, and then you put it right in the center here. You make a right in the well. In the well, okay. And then this is very, this is like the, the most important thing with this recipe is that you don't want to overmix it because then it turns into a brick. Mm -hmm. You just don't want to mm -hmm. do it. So you just kind of want to turn the bowl and just lightly. What does that do? Put big air spaces in it when it cooks? Or what? To keep it from getting too solidified? Uh, well, if you overmix it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to deaden the dough. Mm -hmm. And, and you're, what oh, you're right. doing is, is the baking soda has got to activate. So if you keep whipping it, it's going to destroy everything you just oh, did. Okay. So you want it light. You want it light. So you just want to mix it till it's just barely. Are we going to do that for me? Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, so skillet, grease it. Put a little bit of flour in here, a couple tablespoons, because this is going to keep it from sticking. So then okay. you just shake it around. Break your marble here. Everybody needs to have a cast iron. Oh, yeah, I have like six of them. I, I cook everything in cast iron. I need a secret to how to clean them You're, easily, though. Am I doing it wrong? Well, you have to season it. We'll have a class on that. <laughs> okay, yeah. You're not doing this wrong. Good okay, idea. that's good mix. I feel like I'm doing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're doing fine. So Perfectly it's supposed mixed. to be heavy like that. Yeah, the heavy, yeah. and you just want it to where the, the flour just gets mixed in. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to try to get all that off, but that's okay. All right, put that okay. over there. All right, so then you have the dough here, which you need a little mix a little bit. So spread your flour out. Okay. And you want to knead it just a couple times because it's going to be kind of wet. Can't be afraid to get dirty. No, no. So spread it out a little bit like that. Okay. And then just fold it over just like three times. When do you put the shamrocks in it? <laughs> you gotta have green <laughs> shamrocks for us. <laughs> well, you're the one who's supposed to bring the green. Okay, so a little kneading there, and then you have a nice loaf here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you put it in the skillet, spread it out. Okay. And then where's that knife at? You want to put knife. a nice big cross in it. You got to have a cross in it. So it's about an inch, almost to the all the way through. You put it down like that. And then a little bit of egg and buttermilk you put on top. And you know what I forgot? What did you I forget? I forgot, the, I, the, I forgot the, the raisins. The raisins that we... Ooh, these, are Iri that. these are Irish whiskey soaked raisins. Okay. And I should have put it in the dough and I didn't, which I just screwed up the recipe, but that's okay. So when, <laughs> when we're mixing it in, pretend like we mixed yeah, pretend it in. like I mixed in the fennel that I forgot <laughs> and then the raisins. So be what, sure and read the recipe folks. When yeah. You read the recipe because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So, so the, the, the dough in there, that's when you put yeah. the raisins in, right? Okay. When you, okay. So, and the, the alcohol cooks out. All right. So you, then you throw it in the oven 375 for about 35 minutes. Okay. And what happens is I actually remember to put the raisins in this and see the, yeah. Raisins and the orange just smell that. 
Mm. Isn't that that smell and of orange? Moist too. Ooh, it oh, it's does. just absolutely delicious. So then, and it's nice and uh, it's not too hard, and just comes out like that. And I made a little bit of um, oh, maple. Oh, what's in that butter? Oh, this maple. is maple orange butter. Yeah. So you just put a little maple orange butter on it. Okay. And then I gave you a nice big piece Yay. you could try. <laughs> But it's it's just really a good bread, and it goes great with corned beef. Mm, and you said the alcohol tasty. cooks out, right? Alcohol cooks out. So but my bishop will be okay it. with me eating this. Yeah, I know. We <laughs> talked about that. Maybe we're going to get kicked out of church here. <laughs> no, it's, You'll it's be gone. All right. And there's hardly any in there, so nice and. It's good, good. isn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. Good, good bread. Good I hope thing. it's good. I love the I orange. Taste it. The yeah. orange, yeah. orange really adds to it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. sorry about the mess up on the raisins and the fat. Well, happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day.